Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. Okay, as usual, we are starting off with the gold chart, and you can just see this beautiful move that it's made. Um, interesting to see that our long-term moving averages on our volume showing really parity as far as selling and buying volume. But we can see a gr great move, and we have to start looking at, you know, a move back to the moving averages, a move back to probably the last... Uh, support here or the last swing high um, and what also kind of gives us that impression is even though we've made these moves you can see Thursday was a lot of consolidation we came down just touched <laughs> oversold and <laughs> shot up but now we are overbought in this range and so either we're going to chop around in this 1592 down to 1580 price level um, but we probably you know because we're in the overbought range we're at the top of the range there is a a a, a move back again to uh, a probability to move back towards parity so with the strong gold we go to look at what's going on with some of our dollar currency pairs we start off with the pound dollar and we can see the move that it's made um, as the dollar has um, uh, weakened and we have seen uh, two things first uh, on these last two days here we saw the dollar take control and then fall right off uh, we can see both the dollar and the pound both showing weakness um, they're both below zero and that kind of leads towards our parity here on our hourly time frame where we just kind of chop to the side and this is why um, this is probably going to be in our low volatility watches as we move to the side but where are we we're at above our long-term moving average we're in a selling zone area um, and so we need our probability indicator to start getting up into the, the more likelihood of some type of reversal before we look for that uh, push back to the middle. But in the end, what we're seeing is weakness in both the dollar and the pound. The dollar is in control, but they're both below zero, and thus we're seeing a little parity. Switching to the euro dollar, and we're going to see a little bit of the same thing, lighter volume, selling volume in control. Uh, we can see the euro making the bigger move down, um, and then in comparison, the, the dollar is showing weakness, but it's still just a little bit above its long time moving average. However, when we come to look at who's in control, and we basically see fractionally that the euro is in control and we can see that our price action is below our long-term moving average but it's also in the neutral zone it's basically at neutral right now and we're gonna see that why because they're both below zero and they're both right on top of each other again parity this could qualify for our low voltage watches we'll see and we can see our probability indicator really hasn't really hit these extremes yet of showing us a probable uh, reversal. So we're in neutral zone, we're below our long term moving average, neither really want to be in control. We finish off with the pound franc, and here we can see on the daily our, our, our range that we've been in for a while. We pushed out of that on Wednesday, made it inside bar, and now potentially we're either going to make a move up or we're going to push lower. We can see um, light volume even on our push down, selling volume, still in control. But why is that? Why do we need tank? We can see that the um, 
Frank has taken control. We uh, on our inside bar time frame. We probably got this this movement here, and now they're coming back t- to meet each other. They're converging and trying to meet each other, but we're way off our long term mo- moving average below it. We're in a buying zone area, and so as we're making our inside bar, maybe this is going to be a move to the hot. What we really need is we just about hit it. Not yet though. But we're trying to get our probability indicator to get more into our probability of moving back towards parity. One of the things we saw from Friday is indecision and parity. And so we do have a couple candidates for our low volatility inside bar watch list. We're going to watch the dollar franc, the dollar yen, the pound yen. And on the inside bar watch list, we're also going to be watching the dollar franc, the dollar yen, and the pound yen. So as we kind of wrap up our discussion over uh, high probability trading, what separates winning traders and losing traders, uh, we're going to finish off with the ability to distinguish between high risk and low risk trades. And this really goes with what we talked about the last time about understanding the playing field. And is uh, we all have uh, trading setups that, that we we're watching, um, but it's there are times when the trading setups are good and they're valid, and there's times when they're, those same setups are now higher risk. Are you trading with the trend? Are you trading against the trend? Are you trading into support and resistance? Are you trading at an economic, resist, economic uh, release? Um, understanding this and where these things take place is what separates winning traders and losing traders. They're not trading um, against the, the, the momentum. They're trading with momentum. They're not trading uh, in high risk situations, they're waiting for their setups to be defined, for them to, to be confirmed, and thus making them lower risk versus high risk. Which is what we're all about here at dmbfx.com. Focus, discipline, low risk, effective trading. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.